Hey guys, so today I have a talk through tutorial. One of you guys had requested or actually mentioned to me that I should do an all color pop uh, makeup tutorial. So I pulled out what I have. Unfortunately, I do not own any eyebrow products. I don't own any eyeliners or lip liners or bronzers from ColourPop, but I do have a few things, mainly eyeshadow. So I figured I'd pull out what I have as far as highlighter, uh, blushes and eyeshadows and I'd show you guys what I'd come up with so I basically just did my whole face I did my foundation I did my bronzer because I don't own any bronzers from ColourPop my eyebrows of course and just prime my eyelids so for today I did pull out a few eyeshadows because you guys know me and eyeshadows I just can't figure out what to pick so I picked some old faithfuls and then some new ones that I just hauled um, Bandit and Truth are one of my old faithful kind and then I have alchemy and then uh, flutes as my transition or uh, toppers but then I also wanted to really concentrate and try to use this since I have not used it and I hauled it a while back and it's the ColourPop uh, Kathleen Lights collaboration As you guys can see I have yet to touch it and I've been dying to touch it for the summertime so I think we're definitely gonna use these I'm gonna probably use uh, these two colors right here just because mama loves color so we're gonna work on those so first off I'm going to take uh, truth and this is more like a satin and I'm just gonna place it on my a brow bone just to have it set already so we're gonna do that first Okay, so I zoomed you guys in because obviously I forgot to do that. So for the uh, transition, I'm going to grab flutes, which is like this poopy brown that I mentioned to you guys that I really like. So I'm just going to grab a fluffy brush and just swirl it around. Ooh, see how pigmented that is? And we're just going to buff this in our crease. Now I'm going to grab a clean blending brush and just blend this out so I don't have any harsh lines on there. And these mattes have gotten so much better in formula. Alright, so first color I'm going to get is called Telepathy, which is this vibrant green color. And we're just going to grab, I'm going to grab like a domey brush and I'm going to concentrate this in my inner corner and then blend it up a quarter of the way in. Let me just grab my mirror and bring it closer. So I'm gonna put that and then blend it in here. See that? Mole. So there you have it. Thank God I don't have to go food shopping today. Cause some moms look at me cuckoo. Okay. <laughs> Next up is I'm going to grab the other color that is in the quad and this is called Midnight. And this is more of like your olive gray tone with silver sparkle to it. So I'm just gonna grab a more flat shader brush kind of pack this on the outer part, but kind of transitioning from one color to the next. I'm going to grab a flat 
brush, a flat uh, shader brush. I'm just gonna blend out that black right there. I have no product on there. I just wanna blend this out. I don't want this to be super smoky, even though I'm gonna wear this during the day, but you know, just blend it out. Now this is the part where you have to take your time. I'm gonna add a little bit more to the outer part, blend it out, add a little more until I see that I'm very comfortable with the color amount that I've applied. But you wanna work in small sections. You don't wanna overdo it and then can't blend this out. I'm gonna grab an angled brush and place a little bit of the black on my lower lash line. Let me try to get a mirror. I'm not bringing this color all the way into my inner corner because we're gonna use the other color right down here. going to wipe that brush off and then I'm going to go in with telepathy again and concentrate this on the innermost part of my lower lash line. Boom! I'm liking this. Holy bejesus. Do not wear this to the supermarket. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and use the color flutes again, and I'm just gonna blend my lower lash line with this. So grab a little bit of this and then blend this out. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with my It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner in the black. So for mascara, I'm gonna use the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. And then for liner, we're gonna be fun with this. I'm gonna wing this out, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color Emerald Velvet. I have been using it, it is a bit dry, so I wanna use this as much as I can before I have to officially throw it out. And then for lashes, I'm using the Ardell Wispies, which I have been really enjoying lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that on my eyeballs and I shall return. Okay, so I'm back and I'm kinda loving the green liner. It's different, but it's still dark. I love it. I, I kinda like this look. <laughs> so for blush, the only blushes that I do own have been things that have come in kits. I have never purchased a ColourPop blush by myself on my own. I just, I don't know. But the only one that I have that I know will probably work with this is called Skinny Dip. And it's like this neutral pinky tone. So I'm gonna try it, see how it works. If not, we'll pick something else. See the color that it is? It's kind of like a, a soft peach with a really strong sheen to it. So I'm just gonna blend this out because I really packed it on since the color doesn't really show on me much. Hmm, I don't know, I might have to use something else guys because I don't know, it's pretty but it's not really showing up on me. So, <laughs> what shall I use today? use this blush which is new I hauled it recently it's the um, Milani powder blushes the rose one and this one's in warm petals so I'm going to use this one instead or on top of this one I should say 
and it's this terracotta -ly, terracotta -ly, like peachy terracotta with a little bit of sheen to it, like gold sheen, so we're going to pack this on top. Mm-hmm. Now I'm digging it. Now you can see the blush. Now I gotta blend this out because I want a little ham. Okay, so I'm actually liking that blush color. Now for highlighters, I'm gonna use the highlighter in Spoon. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I know I'm gonna like this, so I'm not gonna complain about this one. Oh my goodness. Just keep adding. I'm going to blend that highlighter out just a tad bit and then use my Real Techniques sponge to kind of control that. I got some glowy cheeks on today so to set my face I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Makeup Extender Spray. Woo. For lips, since I don't have any ColourPop liners for lips, I'm going to use my NYX Natural Lip Liner and we're going to use the Ultra Satin Lip in Little Stitches. I figured this would look nice and neutral and pink for this look, so I'm going to go ahead and do thy lips. That is some beautiful lip. Mm-hmm. I like it. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for your request. I really enjoyed trying to pop out some ColourPop and use them. They're one of my favorite brands. It's just I have so much makeup that I forget about them. And I should use them more, especially in the summer, just for a pop of kind of eye look, you know, pop of something. I know this may be a little bit way too much for some people, but I dig it. You know me in color. I don't mind. I'm going to be wearing this for the rest of the day, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get people staring at me like, what is she wearing on her eyeballs? But I don't care. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will list all the products that I use down in the description box. Any other requests, please leave them down in the comment section, and I will be more than happy to do those for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did like it. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys!